What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So if you have issues with the ODC jailbreak that has been released a couple of days ago, and for example it's buggy for you or it doesn't work or tweaks don't work and stuff like that, this video may be for you. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a program by iMobi which allows you to unlock various parts of your iOS device, for example the passcode, the Apple ID and even iTunes backup passwords. Check it out in the link below. So as you probably are aware the ODC jailbreak was released a couple of days ago with support for iOS 13.7 and lower. It's a good jailbreak, it works well, it has Cilio and of course it has libhooker as its components, so it's a modern one built around modern components. However, things can go wrong. So many of you are probably having issues like errors during the jailbreak process or you know black screens or reboots and stuff like that or some tweaks flat out don't work. So in this video we're going to try to diagnose that and I'm going to show you a couple of tips to fix that in some cases. So before we start, a very important thing is to not install tweaks that are not updated. Yes, you can use a free tool in here called Tweak Compatible, which allows you to find exactly which tweaks are updated and which tweaks are not working for this jailbreak. So for example, you go here on 13.7, you select 13.7 or 13.6.1 or 13.6 in here, and of course you can see exactly which tweaks work. So let's say for example Falza, and we open it, and as you can see, Falza seems to be working pretty fine. However, this way if you're trying to install a tweak, you can first see if it works or if it's not working. For example, Instagram++ doesn't work and of course it's probably not going to work on your device and it will cause more problems. However, if you made sure that all the tweaks that you installed on your device are compatible and up to date, I'm going to show you how to reset your ODC jailbreak to start from scratch. This is important especially if you updated from an older version, like from example from 13.5 with Uncover or 13 point something with CheckRain and stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to completely remove any trace of other jailbreaks and hopefully this will help your Odyssey work better. So I'm gonna go now to the device but before we do that huge shout out to all the people here on my discord. Everybody is invited. An invitation is in the description down below. If you want to talk about jailbreaking and stuff like that or get jailbreak support or ask me anything I'm here on the iDevice Central discord. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. It's the official discord server for this channel. So yeah let's go to the device and I'm going to show you how to reset your Odyssey to make it work a little bit better. All right, so we're here on my device which has the Odyssey jailbreak installed. Now, do not take the drama into consideration. If the jailbreak doesn't work properly for you or if it has a lot of errors, it's not Coolstar's fault for making a poor jailbreak, it's not the Odyssey team's fault, and it's nobody's fault. Jailbreaks are not an exact science, so of course things can go wrong from a device to another, depending on what tweaks you install, depending on what kind of device you have, and stuff like that. So if you want to reset your jailbreak, and I do recommend you to do this if you updated from an older version. All you have to do really is to toggle the restore rootfs in here. Do keep in mind that the same function here is actually very useful if you want to get rid of Odyssey jailbreak for some reason. So if you want to uninstall completely the jailbreak, you just have to toggle that in there. Here in the settings you do have other settings but do not play with them. However, an important setting is to show the log window. Open that and let it be in there because if something bad happens during jailbreak process, or the rootfs restore, you would know and you will be able to send Coolstar or the ODC team a report so that they can fix it. This is a new jailbreak. It was released a couple of days ago so it's expected to have bugs from time to time. So let's try the rootfs restore mechanism. Press jailbreak with that toggled and you will be good to go. Alright, so the phone has restarted and now the jailbreak has been completely wiped. This means that, as you can see, Cilio has been uninstalled and anything else installed by the jailbreak, including tweaks and stuff like that, have been removed. So at this point you're basically re-jailbreaking from scratch, as if it's the first time you ever touched the Odyssey. So this should actually help improve a little bit the performance. However, if you still have issues with the jailbreak, at this point it's likely either a bad tweak or it's just a bug with the Odyssey that will be fixed in the future. However, However, do voice your issues with the Odyssey team, because if nobody sends them reports of what bugs are present, they will not be able to fix it. So if you still encounter issues, make some screenshots and definitely send them to the Odyssey team. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace.